The preparations for E-Road East Bipol are going on its full swing for the by-election which is scheduled on February 27. Voters can independently vote after the campaign ends. Chief Minister MK Stalin hit the campaign trail for the E-Road East Bipol's DMK front candidate and senior Congress leader EVKS Ilangovan in E-Road on February 26. On the last day of campaign for the E-Road East Bipol, ADMK leader Edapadi K Palnisamy asked what is the connection between E-Road Bipol and Kodanad case. EPS asked why Chief Minister Stalin often talks about Kodanad case in E-Road Bipol election. While addressing the college function, Makkal Nidhi Mayam Kamal Hasan said on February 25, the destiny of the country should be determined by the young generation. Our age age of Indians is 29. The average age of MPs in parliament is 54. This condition should be dissolved. The Supreme Court on February 26 directed the Secretary of the Union Minister of Women and Child Development to convene a meeting with the principal secretaries of states and union territories to look into the issue of inadequacy of production officers under the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act. While addressing the joint press meeting with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, PM Modi said the India is ready to contribute any peace process in Ukraine. On February 26, Congress leader Sonia Gandhi may have just entered at her retirement from active politics in her speech at Congress Planetary Session in Raipur. The veteran leader in her speech expressed her deep satisfaction that her inning is finally coming to an end with the culmination of Bharat Jodo Yatra. A large number of devotees across the state thronged the Subramanian Swami Temple in Tiruchandur and offered prayers on the occasion of Masi Magam. A earthquake of magnitude 6.1 on the Richter scale hit Japan's northernmost main island of Hokkaido on February 25.